Soleil Zambrano is going to every public office in Caracas to try to locate her father, Edgar Zambrano, the vice president of the opposition-controlled National Assembly. We don't know where he is. He was kidnapped by this government and taken illegally. He's innocent. They talk about treason? He has been defending democracy in Venezuela because the National Assembly is the only democratic institution left in Venezuela. Zambrano was taken on Wednesday night. He did not want to leave his vehicle, so intelligence officers used a tow truck to take him. At this point, nobody really knows where Edgar Zambrano is being held. His lawyers presume that he's being detained in this prison. It's known as the Helicoide. It's where political opponents and students, for example, that participated in protests are being detained. Human rights groups say that prisoners here are tortured and abused. The government-controlled Constituent Assembly voted to strip of immunity to several opposition lawmakers. Zambrano is one of them. Two others had to seek refuge at the Italian embassy, and another one is hiding at the Argentine embassy. The government is accusing them of treason and rebellion, but has provided no proof. But it's not just lawmakers the government is going after. This is a video from April 30th and involved members of the Bolivarian National Guard that the government believes sided with opposition leader Juan Guaidó's attempted insurrection. Rafael Villafranca's son can be seen in the video. He doesn't know where his son is. I don't even know what he was doing there. I was told he was detained. I know there is an investigation going on, but I don't know where they have him or where he is. Guaidó is demanding the government releases those detained. He says the government is the one who is not respecting the rule of law in Venezuela. The government wants to talk about a coup, but the real coup is here, the dismantling of the rule of law with the constant attacks against the only legitimate body in Venezuela, the National Assembly. That's why there's a crisis and they can't show the people results that will improve their lives. Human rights groups say that with the current situation in the country, it is difficult. Any of those detained will stand a fair trial. We know there are reports of clandestine detention centers. They are not in regular prisons, and prosecutors are not demanding that those imprisoned see a judge within 48 hours of being detained. People are being abandoned, with nowhere to turn. NGOs say there are almost 800 political prisoners in Venezuela today. Prisoners whose future is uncertain so long as the institutions are controlled by the government. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Caracas.